We've never been so ready to get back out there. And with Comfort Zone Glow, Let's we can enjoy our fun days. Welcome everyone to another YouTube video. Welcome back. This is really not how I wanted to come back on YouTube, but okay. this is how we're gonna do it. It's been, I think, about seven months since I last posted a YouTube video. Uh, but I honestly, I just felt like I needed to make this video because, well, there's not just one reason. There's a bunch of different reasons, plenty of reasons. I think you guys probably know, well, I don't put out as much emotion actual emotion towards the internet but i'm pretty sure you guys know that i'm real and i am raw in my emotions when it comes to how i am i'm just i'm not i'm not fake i'm not i don't put up a front this is not like a social media face as a lot of these other influencers have there's a bunch of different reasons why i'm making this video a bunch of people have a bunch of things mixed up with me and just about the whole situation, I think you guys are all mixed up. Because all of you, I'm pretty sure, think that I am obsessed or whatever with my ex. But let me say this now, like I am completely over them. Completely. So there's really nothing you guys have to worry about. I, after this video, I'm done speaking on this situation. I'm not talking about her anymore. And I'm just moving on. I'm also making this video for closure of the relationship because we never came out and said that we were breaking up or that we broke up or just anything. We kind of just let the time fly and let things just, you know. So let's get into the video. Me and Destiny started dating. Hmm. Actually, I forgot to be honest. It's like uh, December something. We just broke up this last December and it was for a bunch of different reasons. Uh, I think the main reason was for us to mature ourselves, work on ourselves more, and well, I, I thought that was the only reason. I thought that was the only reason why we broke up. December we broke up. January I don't know who we stood. Uh, it, was, it was a really, really weird relationship to be honest because I thought that it was going to end in something better and that we broke up for a reason uh january flies by we are still i'm pretty sure we're still arguing where her words are really weird and i take them in really deeply she was still texting me she was still calling me months go by months go by whatever um we move in together into this vault house for two weeks. She was here for two weeks, and I obviously am involved. I thought it was good. It was pretty cool. We, I think we were vibing, you know. Not really any problems, you know. We just make content together, and that was, that was pretty much it. And there was this one night when she did this one specific thing that I'm not going to say just for other people's business. Um, that happened, and I was very confused because I didn't know where we stood. So I backed off. I started talking to other people and whatever, you know? This was about, th whoops, my camera just died. My bad, right, what was it? I think I was saying something that I just found out that two days ago, two or three days ago, some shit like that, I found out that she on the low has been hooking up with other people throughout these couple months. Yeah. It's kind of cocky of me to say, maybe it is, maybe it's not, but I had a bunch, plenty of different times that I could have fucked up with other people. Plenty. But I did. Because I had a gut feeling every time the situation would happen, as it would go farther and farther, I literally like would have gut feelings for her. You know? It pretty much shocked me how just easy it was for her to do it. You know what I'm saying? I've talked to her about it, and I've told her that I was making this video. The day, oh, it's Sophie. Do you wanna say hi? This is Sophie. Are you on my side? Hi, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I got you, Love you. My little brother. You must with my little brother, you must with me, Leslie. All right, where was it? Fuck. The only thing she told me when I brought it up to her about when she was hugging up with other people or whatever, it was none of my business. It was none of my concern and that she was single mind you 
please mind you that I think it it might it might have been like a month a month ago a month and a half ago when uh, I was at a party she was at the same party I was with my friend Zoto and he was talking to these girls I started talking to these girls you know I got her Snapchat or whatever Des comes behind me pulls me and says what the fuck are you doing <laughs> you know so it's just like little shit like that you know that kind of just fucks with my head and just uh, honestly absolutely makes no fucking sense if she before that already had been done doing so so this was actually another thing with sophie um since so she was just here this actually like i just reminded me of this i remember well sophie told me this uh des came up or sophie came up to des some shit they started talking whatever whatever sophie was like oh like i'm not trying to be in the middle of these things like you guys do you um um uh, because i have told sophie that obviously that's tripped on so you know but this was like right when back when i met sophie you know two months ago or some shit des was like no don't trip i know you're not carlos just likes to switch and twist things up it, it just honestly makes no sense um person just like never keeps fucking dying so i'm just gonna film this on my phone um so where were we yeah it was like two days ago that i recently had just found out that she was doing whatever with other people to be honest at this point now that i found out i don't care anymore i really don't care anymore because we are both moved on and I don't really know how she says it, but this was like a week and a half ago. She told me that she was still in love with me, um, which was like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're not, I don't know, maybe it's just how females cope with breakups or something, but that is what happened. I know what she did with other people. I know who these people are. Uh, I'd rather not say the names though, just, you know, yeah. And she still tells me to this day, which I don't know how, that she loves me. <laughs> well, actually, not anymore, because I told her I'm making this video, and now she hates me, probably. So, yeah, but she was still telling me she loved me, and I don't really know how that's loving someone. Um, you don't love someone if that's what you're going and doing. No, you don't care about that person, you know, if that's what you're doing, you know, uh, but whenever she asked, I told her anything that happened. If you're running an e-commerce business, you have to check out our no, bro. It's the analytics tool that took our hard-earned traffic and... You know, love, respect, gone, not dealing with it anymore, it's over, you know, um, uh, I'm not gonna sit here in front and act like I just didn't do nothing with nobody else, you know? You know, because it's not fucking perfect, you know? I'm not, like, there's obviously ons and offs that we had throughout this entire thing, but whenever she asked, I told her anything that happened, you know? And anytime that I would ask her if she had done anything, she would continuously and continuously and continuously tell me that she had it so i had to find out the fucking hard way um all right that's all i'm gonna say for this video to be on in my bio Sheesh.